Hi guys, so this is a follow-on uh, video to uh, potting or uh, planting out your um, brassicas. Um, I potted these cauliflowers up a while ago into the pots in the glass house, which I uh, did a YouTube video for. And then obviously I said that I would uh, show you in March, because um, it's um, nearly the end of March now, um, how to uh, pot these guys on outside. So as you can see, I've got a really nice, healthy, very, very strong plant. The roots, roots are going through at the bottom. If you're ever worried about root systems, then obviously take them out of the pot, have a good look. That's a good root system to be going into the ground. This variety is all year round cauliflower, so it's a good variety, uh, as I say, like for all year round. Um, and this is going to be my uh, spring cauliflower crop. Um, if you live, if you if you live in an area where you know you've got quite acidic soil, then undoubtedly every time that you plant a brassica, um, obviously today there's cauliflowers, always lime your holes. So do it to the ratio that obviously the uh, lime the lime tells you to do it at. Um, they like to be quite far apart. Um, so I've got them planted at uh, two foot apart. Obviously, if you've got really, really good, um, healthy, nutritious soil, which we do have here, you can grow them at uh, two and a half foot apart. And obviously the same between rows because they're quite a rounded plant. So it'll be two feet between plants and two foot between your rows. Um, so if I just... Also as well with brassicas, they like it to be in a nice deep hole and the soil around them needs to be nice and firm. We have very stony soil here because we, we work on, it's all flint, lime and flint around here which is why I'm not liming because our, our lime levels are extremely high. So we're very, very alkaline on the pH scale. So I've got a nice deep hole, which is a little bit deeper than the pot. Take it out. Place it in your hole. Backfill and then really, really firm down. If you have got quite a uh, loose structural soil, it would be a really, really good idea to actually get on the bed and stomp it with your feet. And that's almost like a rule that goes against, the uh, against all veg gardening, because obviously with veg gardening, you never ever step on the bed because you want to make sure that soil is never ever compacted. But uh, with brassicas, I can't um, tell you how much they really, really love to be firmed in. They don't like root rock at all. Um, obviously, if you have cauliflowers and they're rocking around in the soil, that will actually cause them to bolt. So the curds on the top will obviously split and sort of do a broccoli effect. And um, so that's it really. And this is my row of cauliflowers. I have another row to plant on the other side, so I'll crack on with that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will keep you updated on how the progress of the cauliflowers are and um, I hope you guys have good luck with growing cauliflowers. If you have any questions, obviously um, write them at the bottom and I will try and get back to you. Uh, have a good day people and see you soon. Hi guys, so I thought I'd give you just a few more tips because obviously when I'm doing my videos I don't always remember all of the really good information that I'm meant to give you. So um, obviously with your cauliflowers or your brassicas, they're relatively small at the moment and another really great brassica crop that you can intercrop with uh, would be uh, turnips um, and like the smaller you could always put a few like lettuce leaves in between there just to sort of s fill up the gaps suppress the weeds just a little bit obviously I know there's not too many weeds at the moment but it just helps to keep that ground slightly covered um, to stop things from germinating and that's obviously a great way of using space especially if you're lacking in space you can obviously grow uh, dual or triple crops 
in a very very small area whilst you're waiting for certain plants to reach a mature stage um, because obviously the cauliflowers are pretty small at the moment and there's quite a lot of ground so obviously where you saw me filming just a moment ago I'm going to intercrop that with uh, turnips so I'm going to be planting green top Milan turnips in there also as well if you're not in a caged area doing your brassicas um, like I'm not out here um, I will be putting the EnviroMesh on as you can see behind me I just make tunnels with metal loops and put the EnviroMesh over the top and that will obviously stop the bird damage um, and anything else nasty getting it to it obviously I am an organic gardener so I don't put slug pellets down but do remember to put slug pellets down or whatever methods that you choose to keep um, your slugs off of your crops I just leave mine I put eggshells down or um, other gritty surfaces or sometimes I just leave it and we get some they get some the whole environment's happy um, and I think that's about it so um, thanks very much guys and take care